And now on to our other top story. The American atheists have booked the downtown embassy suites for a weekend to organize and promote their absence of spiritual faith. You may have seen the black and yellow billboards that are around town. Channel 13's Dan Winters joins us now. Dan, you say the atheists actually needed extra hotel space. Yeah, once they surpassed 600 in attendance, they expanded from the embassy suites to the Marriott downtown. You could say there was no more room at the inn, except that wouldn't make much sense in this case. As far as the billboard, there's another one over on 19th Street, I think, here in town. Brian Moore noticed it when he was driving around town, and he wondered. That if there is no God, there's, there's nothing really there to argue about why you need to put a billboard up. The answer is to attract a crowd. It's record setting. We're thrilled with that. Randy Henderson is president of the Iowa Atheists. The former Pentecostal pastor expects more than 700 people at the embassy suites this weekend. They'll get t-shirts. They'll get what's called de-baptized. An actor will dress up to make fun of Jesus Christ. People can sign up for an atheist credit card. The national organization's president says they picked Easter weekend on purpose. David Silverman says they picked Des Moines on purpose. Considering the fact that the political process begins here, considering the fact that the judgeship, the judgeships of Iowa have just been politicized around gay marriage, uh, we thought that this was a very apropos city. Silverman figures about 300,000 atheists live in Iowa. You might be surprised that the head of the Des Moines Area Religious Council is married to one. He's an atheist. What? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Presbyterian minister. He's an atheist. Sarah Rice says this absence of religion is organized, and therefore it's sort of like a religion. So if the atheists wanted to join the religious council... They would be welcome. They would be welcome. Who knew? Randy Henderson says he did field a few angry phone calls from people about those billboards around town, but the people calmed down after he explained they just wanted to use those to get people talking and to promote their event. Aaron, the atheists say they, they protest various events that they oppose. Hmm. The national president says they won't be offended if people show up to protest them. Okay, to each their own, and that's the joy of living in America. Thanks, Dan.